And uh, let's just let's just start off to this first story, which is just more of a general story, and then we'll just have a fun Friday hangout. There's there's been a lot of news about inflation and gas, and it seems like the new news cycle that's starting to bubble up we're getting from Politico, from CNN, from the Washington Post, and all these big outlets is that there's going to be a global food shortage or that we're already experiencing one, not to mention inflation is through the roof. So we got a couple stories about there's this billionaire who owns a chain of grocery stores, and he said, buy your food now because it's going to get really expensive soon. They're saying that basically because Russia produces so much fertilizer and now no one can trade with them because of the war, we're going to see fertilizer costs skyrocket, availability diminish, crop yields will drop by 40%, Come fall is when everyone's going to get hit by it. That's the latest scary news in the media and all has to do with the war and that's going on. So how you guys doing? So if, if I can get a couple million bats and bat guano, I can corner the market on fertilizer? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ian. Yes. How do you feel about going in on me, in with me on a bat investment? In on me. Well, in on me. Well, the way you asked me the question, bats. it's hard to, let me hard put to say my no. thought in you. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I, it's yes. very strange now that you conceived inside what? of me. We'll talk later. We'll discuss graphene and bats. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, maybe we do need a little bit of nationalizing uh, fertilizer. What? I don't so, know. What? Nationalizing food production never ends well, bro. <laughs> what Ever. about fertilizer? It is a though. great way to murder yeah, millions it's, it's of just people. Gonna make, yeah. yeah. It How are the way right way cheaper than nuclear weapons, too. <laughs> socialized <laughs> socialized <laughs> agriculture is the best way to kill That's people. That's actually a really good point. You know, we, we, we work so hard on nuclear weapons to kill tons of people when all we needed was communism. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, the true. United States should have didn't even need to drop bombs on Japan. We could have just dropped communist pamphlets and then... So, like, co- communism in a nutshell, like the, the agriculture is such a good microcosm for that of like what the Soviets would do is they'd go, uh, OK, we need more. We need more crops. So uh, we're going to order all of the farmers. You've got to till twice as much land now. And the farmers went, yeah, OK. And they just lifted up the the uh, the, the, the what do you call them? The the rudders, the rudders are the tractors. You can tell I'm a farmer. They lifted up the rudders <laughs> and, and then they just yeah. drove really fast. Like they just raked the top of it because they don't have a, a, any any personal gain in it. And then like, of course, that meant that all of the, the bushels of wheat declined and everybody started starving to death in Ukraine. The other, the other thing they would do is they would uh, go to the guy who knows how to farm, kill him, yeah. and yes. then take someone who did not a farm yeah. and put him in charge. Mm-hmm. Cambodia is a great example. I mean, yeah. Cambodia, they literally, first, like Cambodia, they shot anybody that had any kind of education. They like, yes. just shot it to the point where if you had glasses, Ian, you'd be up against the wall. This is Pol Pot? Yeah, Pol Pot. Was he like a subject of Mao or was he a friend of Mao or inspired by Mao or something? He was inspired. Not only was he inspired by Mao, he, this is literally the name of Cambodia's communist program was the super great leap forward. Forward. Not the Great Leap wow. Forward, but the Super Great Leap. It's like it was forward. my idea, <laughs> and, and they killed about a quarter of the population doing uh. that. And they, they literally they'd go, okay, the annual crop yield of the average hectare of farmland in Cambodia, let's say it's like eight bushels or something. They went, all right, from now on, everybody has to do forty bushels. And people would go, uh, hi, I'm a Steve Door. I don't know how to farm, and also there's a bunch of rocks here, and the, like, like that was <laughs> it, and like it, it caused massive, massive death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the funny thing where, um, was it Mao? He was like, kill the sparrows. Was that? Was that yeah. What? And then everybody, locusts ate right? all the crops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is why centralized. Don't let the... commies near food. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let commies Ever. near food. No, no, no. I mean, hold lefties on, hold on. in general. Shout, shout out, shout out to Maduro. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. yeah, he did a great job there. When he was giving his national address and then just pulls an empanada out from a drawer Amazing. and bites it really yeah. slowly and then puts it back. On TV for everyone to watch. See, this is how great capitalism is. Because capitalism is like, what are we worried about? Getting fat. That's yes. what we're worried about with yes. capitalism is excess Twinkies. That's how mm-hmm. great. The, like, like, we just produce all this stuff.